Okay, hey there, YouTubers. Um, so, I'm recording this just a few minutes after I did the last uh, self foot and leg massage video, um, which should be the last video that you guys got. Uh, if I upload these in order, we'll see if I do that. Um, anyway, so as I mentioned, I'm using that website that I found, Best Paraplegic Exercises to Stimulate Paralyzed Legs. And if you want to go to it, it's flintrehab.com slash paraplegic dash exercises. Um, so you can go there and find out this stuff. And so now this is the first time I'm doing most of this stuff, or maybe even all of this stuff. And there are no pictures, so I'm going to try to do them just based on the descriptions. If I get them wrong, I'm sorry. Um, this is absolutely not advice on any of these things to do or how to do them, because again, I might be doing them wrong. Um, they're just um, ideas that I happened to see when I was researching stuff for other videos um, and for general health. So there's the first one is side leg lifts, and it says slip the front. Um, I don't have a leg lifter uh, or resistance band or anything like that. Actually, I do have a resistance band, but it's in Florida and I'm in New Jersey. So uh, I won't be able to use that, but I'm going to try to do it without it. Slip the front half of your foot into the loop of your leg lifter or resistance band. Lie on your side. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do them in my wheelchair um, because my bed's back there and I don't want to have to be shifting the focus of the camera and zooming in and zooming out. Um, <clears throat> lie on your side so that the foot with the leg lifter is on top of your other leg. Then pull the strap of the leg lifter gently so that your leg raises to the side. Stop pulling when you start to feel your body's natural resistance and then hold the position to stretch your inner thigh. So, I mean, oh, continue to lift and drop your leg about 15 times then turn to your other side and repeat the other leg. Um, so, it would actually be difficult for me to do that uh, lying down anyway because I have trouble lying on one side because of, you can see, the crookedness of my uh, hip or back or side or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it'll be better for me doing this in the wheelchair anyway. Again, I'm not going to use a resistance band, but here we go. This is going to be the general idea. I'm trying to get back far enough. Move my amplifier out of the way, maybe. Okay. So it's sort of going to be like this. Again, this. Imagine if I was lying down on the bed doing this. This is a basic idea. Um, so you want to get just get a stretch sort of in in here. I guess that's what it said. Yes, inner thigh, inner thigh. So that's what you're going for. Um, just like that, a bunch of times. It says 15 times. I mean, I suppose you could do eight or ten or whatever you felt like. Um, and this one would be like this. Oh, I feel it more in this leg. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I need to work on that, apparently. Um, so, that's at least what I think the general idea is for that, because, again, I've never done... I mean, I've done this stuff before, but not um, specifically in, like, a rehab sort of paraplegic way, just mostly in, like, a yoga general kind of way. Any hoozles. Okay, so knees to chest. Place the leg lifter on one foot and lie down flat on your back. Use one hand to slowly pull the strap of the leg lifter towards your upper body and the other to bend the knee as it as it moves up. Once I'm sorry, I'm reading off the thing. Once your knee reaches your upper body, use your arms to keep it in place. Hold the position for several seconds and then slowly straighten the knee as you bring the leg back 
down. It sounds very complicated. Place the leg lifter on one foot and lie down flat on your back. Use one hand to slowly pull the strap of the leg lifter towards your body. So it sounds like I mean it, it sounds like you're just basically let's pretend I'm lying down. Don't mind that I just adjusted myself. Um, but it sounds like you're basically doing this and down, and this, and down, but I can't really tell if you're supposed to keep your legs straight or not. That's the only issue I have with their directions. It, I would assume, since you're, it's called knee to chest, that you're not keeping your leg, or sorry, straight, that you're not keeping your leg straight, but I really don't know. So that's kind of what I think that is about. Ankle rotation, okay, so I showed you that in the previous video, um, but I'll just give you another whirl at it. It's basically one way, and then the other way, you do clockwise, counterclockwise, um, at least that's, yeah, that's what I read the last time. Go ahead and sit with one leg bent to the side so that you can easily reach your foot. Use one hand to stabilize your ankle, use the other one to move your foot in circles. Be sure to rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. So good. Got that done. Um, ankle... <laughs> ankle... I screwed up something with the video software just for a second. Uh, ankle pulls. Sit on the floor and place the leg lifter on one foot. Make sure that the... I'm fixing my pocket pockets, by the way. Make sure that the legs are straight and then slowly pull the strap towards your body so that your toes point towards the ceiling. This is called ankle dorsiflexion. Backward bending of the foot. Ankle. Sit on the floor. Place the leg lifter on my foot. Oh, okay. So it sounds like it's just this, basically. I'm doing this. I mean, that's... That's what I think it, they're trying to explain. Um, so again, I mean, you you could be using a resistance band for this, um, but it works just with um, using my hand, arms, and hands. Okay, number five, hamstring stretch. Just like the previous exercise. You're going to want to sit on the floor and place sit, right, sit on the floor and with the front half of your foot inside with the front half of your foot inside the leg lifter. Then pull the strap upward and toward your body so that the entire leg lifts. Okay. Pull until you Okay, so okay, so yes, this is Chest to knee, or knee to chest was the first one, that's with the bent knee. This hamstring stretch, I think, is basically the same thing, but instead of bent knee, it's straight. So you're going to be doing this, sure, because you don't get the hamstring stretch with that, but you do get it with that. Yes. Um, so again, this is a lot of stuff that, I mean, yeah, just stretch right there. And you can do these right in your wheelchair, if that's easier for you. But of course, if you want, you could do them on a bed, or on the floor, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is like just a lot of yoga-ish stuff that I'm used to. Okay, knee extension, number six. Go ahead and grab a chair or get in your wheel... Well, I'm already in my wheelchair. Make sure to lock the wheels in place. Hmm, I must never do that. By the way... Don't be like I am. Lock your wheels when you're doing pretty much anything that is remotely dangerous. Um, place your foot into the leg lifter and then gently pull so that your knee straightens out. Then bring it back down and repeat 15 times before switching to the other leg. Okay. Let me read that again. Ooh, sorry. Excuse me. Go ahead and grab a chair or get in your wheelchair. 
Place your foot in... I'm not sure I understand this one. Place your foot into the leg lifter. And gently pull. I'm not sure what they're saying to do here. Pull so that your knee straightens out. I don't know. Um, if people want to comment on what this knee extension thing is that they're talking about, that would be awesome. Um, okay, so... Number 7, 8, and 9 on this are actually things that you would need um, gym equipment for. There's Pilates, Reformer, uh, then there's Seated Elliptical, and Pool Gate Training. And that's, that says if you have some control in your legs, which I do not. Um, Seated Elliptical, Great Arm Workout, yeah, Pilates Reformer. Might, uh, lie down on the carriage, place your feet on the foot bar, your legs should be bent. Foot bar is attached to the frame and does not move with the carriage. Pull handles with your arms, carriage will slide to the other side and your legs will straighten out. Uh, okay, they, do, they actually do have a, a picture of that. Um, but I don't have any gym equipment to do that with, so... Um, I guess this is the end of the video. So, I did the side leg lifts, did the knees to chest, ankle rotation, ankle pull, hamstring stretch. I couldn't figure out the knee extension. Again, if you know, if you know what that is supposed to be, um, please comment or send me a message, uh, or link me to a video that shows that, maybe. Uh, I suppose I could do that right now, but, um... I don't, I, I really wanted to try to do all this just by the, from the web, the directions on the website, so I think I'll stick with what I got. So, thank you for watching, see you next time, don't forget to subscribe, the subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and um, be sure to stay safe out there.